Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 29. So today we're going to continue our training on the Campaigns applet, and we're going to dive into direct mail. And I'm going to show you how you can send out postcards directly through command without ever having to touch a stamp or go to the post office. So let's dive into the Campaigns applet. Again, it's our megaphone here on the left-hand side. And when we open up campaigns, again, we're going to get our five tabs across the top. Direct mail is our fourth tab over. So we're just going to click on that tab to show you what this home screen looks like inside of direct mail. You can easily track how many recipients, leads, and costs you have incurred. And you can do that month to date, you know, the last 30, last year to date, lifetime, etc. You can search for a specific campaign, and then you can sort by those that have been mailed, any you've archived, or any that you have in draft status. You're also going to set a goal each time you create a direct mail campaign, and as such, you can sort your direct mail campaigns by that actual goal. So let's go ahead and dive into creating a new direct mail campaign. As with all things command, we've got our big blue-green button here in the top right corner. So we're going to create a new campaign and we're going to select direct mail. First thing it's going to do is it's going to ask us to name our campaign and then choose a goal. So in this case, we're going to do a campaign name of just listed and we're going to do 6007 Verde Place Lane and we're going to do um, 150 closest homes 11723. All right, so I want to make sure that my campaign name is very informative. It lets me know what the goal was, how many homes I targeted, the date, the property, all of that information. With regards to the goal, don't get too hung up on this. This is really more for tracking purposes at KWRI. It's not going to have much impact, if any, on the actual effectiveness of your postcards. So it might be best just to kind of pick one and move on. Um, I'm going to say that we're advertising our listing, and I'm going to come down to create the campaign. From here, we get into the actual modal of building out our postcard. So we've got two options when we do this. We can actually select from a design that we have previously created and stay tuned. We've got designs coming soon in the challenge and we'll teach you how to build those postcards. Or you can use one of the templates that are provided for us. So if I go into 6007 Verde Place Lane, um, that is one of my listings, but it's already sold. So we're going to do all listings and see if we can get it to show up. Here we go, here's the actual listing. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now, in your case, this obviously would be an active listing, but this is just for demo purposes. We're gonna show you this property. I can always come in and change that listing later if I want to. Now, the only real purpose of choosing the listing is if I'm going to use the template that is provided on my behalf. So if we click on content, you're going to see that by default, we're using the template that's being provided, which then pulls in the information from the MLS. It includes the description. Just be aware, though, that most descriptions are going to be more than 350 characters, and your max character count is 350 characters, so you're going to want to trim this down. In addition, things like this happen where it's a 3.5 or 3.5 bathroom. It came in as 31 bathrooms. Obviously, this house does not have 31 bathrooms, so we're gonna move that back down to 3.5. You wanna make sure that the list price is correct, and then you're gonna select your listing status if you're using the default template. So we're gonna use just listed. And here on the left-hand side, you can sort of get a preview of what this postcard is going to look like. Now we haven't actually selected a photo, so we're going to come down to listing photo and we can choose to upload an image from our Google Drive, our Dropbox, our hard drive, or we can actually select listing image and then select one of the images that's being automatically pulled in from the MLS. Now you can already see that we've got an exclamation on these because as they're being pulled in, it's not bringing in the best resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and select that just to show you here what this preview of the postcard would look like on the front and then on the back. And this is where you have that character count. You can see right with 360, I'm well over 360 and it's cutting off a lot of the information. So 
Just make sure that this always looks good if you are going to go with one of the templates that are provided. Also note that you can select larger templates. So you can see right now it's a four by six. I can move it to six by nine. That's gonna give me a lot more characters as far as my description goes. Um, you can see, even though it says I'm still under the thousand character limit, it is getting cut off here at the bottom. So just be careful again that you're always proofreading these and taking a good look at them. Um, if we go back to the front and take a look, you can see the preview changes based upon the size of the postcard. Now, for me, what I'm gonna to decide to do is actually use a custom template, and that's gonna be a design that I've previously created. So we're gonna go with upload a custom template. And in this case, <clears throat> you can see that we're getting a very detailed description here. Your design should include all relevant information, recipient address, et cetera, will be printed on the back of the postcard. This is important when we get into designs. Don't mess with the white space. It's gotta be JPEG or PDF the separate files, so it has to be a front separate from the back. You can see the 300 DPI with the bleed and then the height and width of pixel count. So I'm gonna go in and find the postcard for this listing when we actually sent out the just listed. And I'm gonna pull that up. And this is two files that I have saved on my hard drive, um, my Google Drive actually that I had previously created inside of designs. And again, we're gonna show you how to do that when we get to the designs video section. So here is the front, and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna browse and we're gonna go find the back. There's the back, we'll open that one up. And so you, now you can see the front and back have both been loaded. These are actually designs that are available in the design library that I have obviously gone in and made edits to, to include my headshot, information about the property, et cetera. Right. So now that we've got all of that done, we can click on save. The last thing we need to do, we've got a couple more things. One, we want to verify our market center address. So we would click on, let's see the address the zip code didn't come in. So we'll click on verify address. It usually has some sort of correction it wants you to do. In this case, it's adding the plus four to the zip. We'll confirm that address. With targeting, you can do local targeting or target my database. The difference here is with local targeting, we're actually gonna be given a map and we can target specific homes, a specific radius, a specific area, a specific number of homes. The other option is to target my database where you could actually target specific contacts. And you can see if I choose to add contacts, I could come in and hand select specific contacts or I could even choose to filter by a tag and then go in and select all that have that tag. So that's another option that you can do. In this case, because it's just listed, we're gonna do local targeting. We're gonna use the property address. We're gonna click on save. Budget wise, you can see it's gonna tell us what the cost is for these postcards. So it's 72 cents per postcard for 250. We already know we wanna do 150. So I can change that and see what my estimated cost is. Once I click on save, my last step is to configure my targeting. This is gonna take us into the Real Mailers program inside of Command. Real Mailers is the company that Keller Williams partners with for this direct mail program. And we can now see that we have a targeting option. So since I chose, I pre-selected 150 homes, what Real Mailers has done is basically selected the 150 closest homes to this property. Now, I actually live in this neighborhood and I know this neighborhood well, so I can tell you that all of these homes are in the neighborhood, but all of these homes are in a separate neighborhood. South of Franz is a different neighborhood. So in this case, I could choose to still advertise the listing to these properties, but I think it makes the most sense to advertise the property within my actual neighborhood. So in that case, I'm going to click on draw, and now I get the ability to click and I can sort of draw around the area that I want. That wasn't the best drawing, but it's pretty darn close, right? And so once I do that, it's going to tell me all of the homes in my drawing size or space, if you will. Now I can come in and I can click on reset and we can do polygon. Sometimes the polygon is a little bit easier. So if we do polygon, now I'm actually just dropping anchors. So if I click, oops, click, no, I'm still not doing it. Let's do polygon and click to start shape. There we go. So now I'm just dragging around the lines 
and this may make it easier if your drawing skills are like mine are where we're not getting all the homes that we really want there you go so you can see we've drawn that polygon and that is roughly 203 homes within that area so in this case i told real mailers what area i wanted and then it's going to tell me what the properties are inside of that area now for any reason you already know that there's a specific person that you don't want to send mail to uh, maybe that's someone that's really told you leave them alone don't ever come communicate with me again in the future or maybe you know a realtor lives at a specific address you can come in and click on remove and that'll actually remove that blue dot you can see that one is no longer blue it is gray now that property would not receive a postcard on the left hand side you do have some additional filters that you can utilize to sort of uh, filter down or minimize down the number of homes that you're going to target i would just advise that you be very careful utilizing these filters they pull from the tax records most often and we know tax records aren't always 100 percent accurate so you may be missing out on some homes that you really do want to target at the very bottom we've got one more option we can send a copy to the company address so this would basically send me a copy to my market center so i could choose to check that box i can even hover over the eye and it's going to tell me where that postcard is going to go to um, so there's that option just know that it is going to say current resident so you may want to talk to the person at your front desk or whoever handles your mail let them know hey i've got a just listed postcard coming in at my newest listing i just want to check the quality and see what it looks like so i'm going to send myself a copy to the office can you keep an eye out for it maybe even send them a copy of the front and back so they can see what it's going to look like finally from here all i have to do is click on next it's going to take me into the preview of the postcard it's going to tell me what my order summary and cost is this is where i can put my email and my card number in in addition on the bottom left and this is really important it does kind of give us some additional details so it tells us no well, it's not let me scroll down uh, but if you submit your order before 3 p.m on a business day your mailers will go to production that same day so they're going to go into production as long as i can get this in before 3 p.m i do believe this is central standard time um, however it's going to take another two business days before they get to usps and then from there it's going to take roughly four to six business days to get out into the mailboxes so i typically estimate somewhere between eight to ten days before these postcards hit just something to be really aware of especially if you're doing something like an open house you want to give yourself plenty of lead time and something along those lines if it's just listed and the postcards are going out 10 days after it went just listed yeah maybe not quite as effective it may already be under contract in some markets in that time so just be aware of that with regards to the lead time that you need on the specific postcards that you're utilizing from here guys literally all i had to do is put in my payment information click on make payment and from there the postcards begin getting printed and sent out never have to see a copy of the postcard don't have to deal with postage don't have to go to the post office it's all done right here directly through cam command campaigns direct mail that's it for today guys hope you're having a fantastic day and as always i'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon